In this video, I'll be showing you how to handle uh, bean beetles, Calisabrucus maculatus, um, and how to uh, tell the sexes apart. You might be given a mass culture such as this uh, that has a large number of beetles in a 150 millimeter dish, um, and there's almost too many beetles here to be able to handle. So what I'm doing is tapping down the dish and I'll pour a small amount of that culture into another dish. It'll make it easier to handle the beetles. I'm just tapping a small amount in. Remember to cover the dishes. And now we just have a few beetles with their beans um, in this other dish and that'll be a lot easier to uh, go into without beetles crawling out uh, of the dish easily. So generally I try to isolate beetles in very small containers. These are 35 millimeter dishes. Again, tap the dish down to get the beetles down and then just go in with soft forceps and pick out the beetle you want. So I just picked out a male and now I'm going in to pick out a female. And these soft forceps aren't required, but they do make it a little bit easier to handle beetles without the risk of uh, crushing one uh, accidentally. I wanted to also show that you can handle the beetles with a small brush, a small paintbrush, a Drosophila brush, or just a, a small uh, watercolor brush is sufficient uh, to be able to manipulate the beetle um, and uh, be able to handle it um, much the same way you would with forceps. You can pick it up, put it into a dish. In this pair of images, the small squares are millimeter scale. Here we have pictures of male and female bean beetles, Calisabrucus maculatus. The male here on the left is brownish in color, and the female on the right is more black in color, but that's not a good uh, characteristic for telling the sexes apart. On the other hand, if you go to the very back of the abdomen here, in the female you see two black stripes on the pagitum, which is that last segment in the abdomen, with a white stripe in the middle. Males never have that coloration in the pagitum at the back of the abdomen. They're more uniform and brownish in color. That's the best way to identify males from females in this species. So this ends the video on handling bean beetles and identifying the sexes of bean beetles. Thank you for watching.